All right, so let's go over. So here's today's price action. It's February 1st. Um, we've had a breakout earlier this morning. These are cup and handle breakouts. Earlier breakout this morning drove us up to uh, right around 96, just under 4,900. Uh, let's go over yesterday's price action. I want to show you how. Um, I want to show you into the close what to look for, and then also um, yesterday's short. So here was yesterday's short that I sent out to you in the um, uh, on your emails. Oops, Gerald sent this out over 17 points of potential. All right, so we talked about this yesterday morning. We talked about it uh, right around 8:45, um, 8:45 to 9 o'clock in the morning when the market was at this point, and we talked about this key breakdown at this level. So here's where our dots were posting. Why was this such a critical level in the market? Because this level was 20 and three quarters, or 21, yesterday. Consequently, at the same time, this level was also low value area market profile. So what that means is we had an imbalanced market all the way below us. There's no support below us, meaning when you get market profile, low value area sitting at the same spot, or high value area sitting at the same spot as these breakouts or breakdown levels, there's big pockets in the market. And what that does, it fuels the trade to the downside and upside. So we had about a half hour heads up on this before it broke, and then uh, the market fell over 17 points of potential. So what I'm talking about is market profile when you break through low value and, and, and high value. And what that means is that when you get through these certain levels in the market, here's where we were sitting yesterday. So we're sitting right there at that level on market profile at the time. So this green level right here was actually sitting up here before it adjusted in the afternoon. Uh, it was sitting at 20 and three quarters. So we bounced off of it once. We came down to it. We had a sell signal right in this level, which was a breakdown. It hit 20 and three quarters and bounced. So I talked about on the microphone at this level, just above low value area at the time, that if we break through this level, which is low value area, 20 and three quarters, that is where the dots were. That's where our momentum dot, our sell dots were yesterday. They were right here. Same exact spot. So you had 20 and three quarters as your momentum zone breakdown uh, dots that formed in the trading room. And consequently, like I said, at the same time, we had low value area forming at the same time right there. So it came down and it bounced off for a momentum setup. So we bounced up. So what I said in the microphone is if we can break through low value area and get a break of 20 and three quarters, I gave two targets in the market. I gave one here, which is market profile, came right down to it at 49.12. And then my ultimate target was all the way down here at this level, which is 4,900. As you can see, the market had 17 points of potential, hit the 49.12, and came all the way down to this uh, uh, this 03 level, eventually hit the 4,900. So this is where the market becomes imbalanced. You, you got this pocket of no support, or no, no, no support in the market because these are all the trading participants in the market. The same thing happened in the afternoon. The afternoon at 3 o'clock, we had low value area sitting at this level. It adjusted from the morning action. So we had low value area that adjusted right at this level. And at the same time, we had our zone breakdown sitting right, right on top of our low value area. So we had it sitting right on top of it, and right there it was. So we were sitting at this level on low value area at the same spot that the zone breakdown was projecting a short. So you had about uh, about 15 minute heads up before this broke. And when it finally broke, you're looking at 03, got down 75. So over 28 points of potential, you had a couple more that were very small, shallow uh, cup and handle trades, this one and also this one. If you see the market start responding, and you, you're, um, if you get low value area or high value area, and it's on top of these zone breakout breakdowns, those are critical levels in the market. So once it broke, 
you had another small cup and handle. If you have only one opposite color uh, reversal bar or two, even three, and you get a yellow pull in, again, that's a very small cup and handle, shallow cup and handle. And we talked about this last week a lot. And the previous week, you're going to see probably some violent price action to the downside. And we had 28 points of potential there. And then this one was, what, 08 and a half. And that one was 04 and a quarter down to uh, 75. So just a violent move to the downside um, based upon this breaking low value area. So th that's what we understand. We understand that if we can get on top of this low value or high value area, right, at these levels, you're going to have big pockets in the market because what happens is that you have nothing but downside or upside because what happens you got all these buys buy orders that are holding the market up once you see these markets start fueling to the downside these are sell stops that are hitting these are sell stops so sorry right there sell stops are hitting the market and it becomes a self-generating trade because you're getting through market profile so you're getting through it and then we have a big move to the downside. So you can see the morning trade that I set up early in the morning that we talked about had a big pocket in the market. And, and we, we had a target of 4,900 right here at this level. And it, it achieved that level. And I'm going to show you how I came up with those levels from that 17-point potential. And I'm going to show you how you can come up with these levels on this 28-point potential here. What you can do is you can use previous day's market profile. And I like to go two days back sometimes for this level that I, that I projected at 4,900 from this big 17-point potential short actually went three days back. And how you can do it is, is very simple. So let's get these off here, and we're, we're going to mark up our profile charts for the day, and we're going to find out, see what lines up for the morning for our ultimate short this morning. So we're going to go into today's trading, and we're going to see where high value and low value is. If you're in between it, in between this red HVA and green LVA, we're in a balanced market right now. So we are balanced right now. So you can tell we broke out this morning. Earlier this morning, we had a breakout here in high value area. So high value area was sitting at 48, 90, 90 and three quarters or 91. Well, at the same time, that's exactly where we broke out of these. We start breaking through this upside on the market profile and look at the run you get. So if you can match up your cup and handle, these are cup and handles um, breakouts. There's your stem. Cup and handles are very, very uh, accurate in continuation trades. So you can see that's a cup and handle. Once you break out of this upper level, the market tends to run. So if you can match up market profile here, you get this nice little run. If you're HVA and LVA, same thing with here. This matched up a low value area. There was nothing below us. It's an imbalanced market. When you get outside of HVA and LVA, that's all the trading participants in the market. Like I educate traders, this has worked since 1985, almost 40 years of market data on market profile. It's where it shows you all the trading participants activity. And this is a very neat tool to use with this breakdown and breakout tool because if you're sitting with LV and HVA like we were yesterday we had about a half hour heads up you had here about a 15 minute heads up on this one and then you had a half hour heads up when I was pointed out in the room we were sitting at this level when I'm talking about it on the microphone we're sitting right here at that level waiting for the breakdown it broke down low value area and 17 points of potential so it's a really neat way to catch the wrongly positioned traders because they're opposite of the market. So let's take a look at this morning's action then. What we can do then is I can dictate where the market is going to get imbalanced. So right now, if you're in between this red line and the green line, that's called a balanced market. So we're in a balanced market right now, balance. That's where you have accumulation distribution. We're in a balanced market, equaling each other back and forth. So this is a balanced market. Right, what happens is the market becomes imbalanced. 
when you become an imbalanced market, that's all the trading participants in the market. That's a balanced market. When you get imbalanced, this is where we had a breakout this morning earlier. Once you close a whole body candle close outside of it, it's right here. You get a big directional move, 92 and a quarter. That got as high as, what, 95 and three quarters for an imbalanced market. Now we're back inside a market profile. We're back into a balanced market again. So what we'll do is, is we will see the market become imbalanced when it gets outside of these key levels. So here's a key level at uh, 78 and three quarters. I know the breaking point in this market. Now this works for all markets. It doesn't matter what market you trade. I showed you how to do it on the Russell 2000 yesterday. NASDAQ, whatever you use, those are my key levels. So I want to see 90 and three quarters a breakout as a breakout level on market profile. The market should become imbalanced if we get outside there or break down a 48.78. So So that is how we want to do the balance and imbalance markets. So when we're balanced, we're in between. We become imbalanced and we break out. Once you become imbalanced, you like to see a nice little move in that direction because you got sell stops that hit below LVA and buy stops that hit above HVA. All right, now. How can we use market profile for these outer edge trades? So yesterday I showed you how to do outer edge trade. So yesterday we had an outer edge trade. This is the software you're going to be getting on your computer where the alarm system goes off right here for this trade right here. This is the S&P that showed up in the room. Well, the projected sell on the S&P was 4,900. 4,900 was the projected level of 4903 and then 4900 down there there's 4903 market profile so you what you can do and at the time i believe uh the other profile was let's see that was 4903 so 4912 was my projection right there 12 and a quarter so 4912 was lv at the time so you can use this outer edge trade that we do for projections on market profile in other words this is low value area here and a high value area was at this level. So I had high value area at this level there, and I had low value here. So I can also use it for what? So if I have my high value sitting up at this level, and I have an outer edge trade, not only can I use it for my zone breakdown and breakouts to see when the market gets imbalanced, I can use them for targets on my outer edge trades on the opposite side of profile. And that's the only two setups you need to follow all day long. Because my Momo trades are involved in there. My first wave trades are involved in there already. There's your target, right? So you can go LVA to HVA when they line up. If I have it the other, yes, uh, the day before that, we were on low value area here and high value was at this level. And our high value is sitting up at that level right there. So what you would do is you would take those buys up to target of these are outer edge trades you would take it to the opposite side of profile so that's how you can use the outer edge trades now we haven't had an outer edge trade there yet this morning but you can see what I'm talking about you can see how we want to do that so today I know I'm back into a balanced market so my imbalance is going to happen when I get above 90 and three quarters or if I break down through 78 and three quarters okay so that's what we're going to look for. It almost hit an outer edge trade here. This would have been a buy setup. I needed two candle close here. Almost made the team. What an outer edge trade looks like in the room. We had a big short yesterday. Oh, there's an outer edge trade right there, big long at 430. And we had an outer edge trade there at 2 o'clock. And here's our big outer edge short. So what typically happens is, is you get the outer edge first. You get this outer edge trade first. Outer edge meaning on my outer zone that's been tested over 30 years. And then we get right into the zone breakdown. This is where we had our first target to hit market profile yesterday. As I was talking about, we got back inside here. So if we break this critical level, 
We're looking for 12 and a quarter, then 4,900, and we hit those levels. So how can I project today then not only the breakout level, let's look at the future break, or, I mean levels that it can get to if we break out of HVA. All you do is skinny this down. So these are our key breakout levels if we're getting in balance. We're trying to get in balance right now. We need to close. Skinny it down. And I want to look at two days back. And I want to find, and this is how I get my targets, how I got my 4,900 target yesterday, which was a 28-point move to the downside and a 17-point move to the downside. Potential. How did I get those targets? They went right to them. How? You look at the previous market profile. What the market likes to do is they like to go from control point to control point. Control point is the most volume traded. All you want to do is mark these up. You want to mark the previous market profile levels up. Just put them on your chart before the trading day starts. And these are going to be your target levels. That's how I come up the targets, and that's how I gravitated towards them yesterday. Last week, you can see sometimes I'll project these levels in the room, and you can see they come right to them. So you can, you can put those on your chart to find out well, where the key levels are in the market. Um, you, you can go, you don't need to go more than three days back. I like going the day before is the most accurate because these are points of interest. So I know right now in the market that the, these levels have not been hit. I got a big pocket in the market. So if I break out a high value area, which I'm trying to do, I know where my target's at. My target's right there, 4903 and a half. That's my target on the S&P. If I get 03, through 03 and a half, Looks like we're going right to 27. So that would be my ultimate level. Now, you can go back if you break to the downside. You can go back further from 78 breakdown. And then you can find out. Um, you can put 10 days back instead of just a couple days back here and find out what your support levels are down here. But right now, we're breaking out. We're trying to break out to the upside. So our first target today is going to be 03 and a half. Look at that big pocket, uh, 27. These are areas where the market, the reason these market profiles go, there's holes in the market. Look at this big, giant five-minute bars. They're down, down, down. These are big holes in the market where there's no support and resistance. So these will be natural support and resistance levels. If we have breakouts or we have outer edge zone buys, this can be our target levels. Okay, so I'm going to leave those up there today. I'll mark them up here in a few. But if I get through this high-value area, of 90 and three quarters, I know where the market should gravitate to, towards the highest probability trade, 03 and a quarter. If I get through 03 and a quarter, I know the next level, which is the control point. So I know my levels are ready to look for going forward.